and good day to you. So I'm trying to correct uh, a video that I uploaded and didn't have any sound. Uh, so sorry about that. Uh, it's got this uh, neural network class that I built. I'm going to hopefully eventually try and get a visualization set up for it. But I want to work through the code. Um, I've got this class. It creates a self.mind as an empty list uh, and fills it with random matrices using um, numpy as a basis to do this has a sigmoid function a sigmoid uh, derivative and has one function for learn which takes in these x and y values and does a calculation so it runs through the self.mind list and i hope you forgive me for the uh, crass concept of calling it cortex and self.mind as the variables uh, but the idea is neural network, mind, deep mind, that sort of thing. Uh, you know, indulge me. <laughs> uh, it creates this supply to list all the uh, outputs from each of the layers. Does the forward propagation. Does the dot product using the sigmoid function between X and uh, the cortex of weights. And... Uh, stores up all the outputs into supply then calculates the final layers error using y minus x uh, as a matrix calculation uh, then runs backwards through the same values doing the error times the sigmoid derivative of the value of its output of its layer that we're talking about and then adds that as a update to the layer that it's updating uh, using the dot product between the input layer, its previous layers, and the update value, which is the uh, value that we've produced here. Uh, it then shifts the uh, value as a dot product between this value and the update so creates a new error value for the next uh, layer now what we're trying to show here is it's got a list of x values and what we're trying to pr prove is that we can create a xor uh, gate 0 0 false 0 1 true 1 0 true 1 1 false so if i was to run that like this you can see the output that it's got matches 4% for 0, 97% for 1, 97% for 1, and less than 1% for the XOR false, which is the main one we're trying to produce. Now, uh, anybody who knows a little bit about um, sigmoid functions will know it never gets entirely to 0 and it never gets entirely to 100 best you'll ever see is 99 or 1% or a little bit lower. So this is, you know, pretty accurate for what we're trying to prove. And um, yeah, and you can see here the output for each of the rows, the final output, and you can see how it learns over time, updates, if you watch, watch close, closely, these are the weights that are internal to its matrix that it's using. And it's just slowly, updating them and changing them to match the values that it's looking at uh, which will then create a better model which will make it more accurate now I of course need to do a proper pretty visualization uh, for this and uh, make it a bit more presentable uh, nobody just wants to look at a console output but I thought it was still worth sharing probably was really stupid of me to share it and not put the sound on which this video is meant to correct but there you go so I built my own little neural network um, class works quite happily thank you for watching sorry for the previous video thanks bye